Hey guys, what's going on? Met the Caveman Cuny again, Pillar Problem Long Island, Met the And today's question is what can we do about latex fruit syndrome? I'm the caveman. And the answer is don't go raw. With the fruit, with, with the fruit. I'm just gonna keep digging myself deeper. What I mean by that is that in certain fruits, there are proteins called heavy proteins, and they mimic those found in latex. Because of their molecular similarity, oftentimes they can cause cross-reactivity in fruits, including bananas, avocados, mangoes, strawberries, pineapples, kiwi, amongst a couple others. But the idea what I mean by that is if you cook it, you can possibly break down, degrade that protein, and you might not have as big of an issue. From there though, your next best bet is to follow the four R's. And by the four R's, what I'm talking about is remove, replace, re-inoculate, and repair. And those four are always a great idea if we're dealing with an allergy or an autoimmune condition. Anything where we have a hypersensitive or an overreaction to an internal external source. So what does that mean? Well, in this case, we're going to remove those foods. If cooking it doesn't help, you remove them from your diet. Seems pretty straightforward. If you have a negative reaction to a food, removing it is definitely step one. Number two, we're moving to replace. So in this case, we're looking at things potentially like digestive enzymes, things like ox bile, potentially some betaine HCL. Next up, that third R is re-inoculate because in your gut, as we're focusing on right now, as usual, we have that bacteria, your microbiome. And what's gonna happen? Well. If we have that allergy, the autoimmune response, what we're generally looking at is some kind of dysbiotic gut, meaning that the wrong type of bacteria are overgrown. So you re-inoculate, you replace the bacteria that are in your gut with beneficial ones. So quality probiotics like Megaspore, maybe some Saccharomyces boulardii, and some fermented foods. From there, the last one, number four, the fourth R, is to repair. So we're looking again at bone broth, gelatin, DGL, the deglycinated licorice. You're going to want to look at some L-glutamine potentially. Getting in adequate micronutrients, particularly zinc, those are all going to help to repair that gastrointestinal lining. In those conditions, anytime we're trying to fix the gut, we need to take care of all those steps. Make sure the lining's healed. Make sure the right type of bacteria are there. Make sure you're digesting and breaking down your foods. Make sure you're sufficient in your micronutrients and remove the offenders if only for a short time to give your body a chance to heal, after which point you may be able to reintroduce, which would technically be the fifth R, wouldn't it? So your biggest takeaways for what can we do for latex fruit syndrome or pretty much any other allergy, focus on those four R's, remove, replace, re-inoculate, and repair. And what that's gonna do, you're gonna remove the offenders, particularly in this case, the things like the bananas, the avocados, the mango, the kiwi, the pineapple, the strawberries. You may not be sensitive to all of them, but you may need to remove some. And you may consider removing all just to play on the safe side. But from there, you replace to help improve the steps of digestion. Then you make sure your microbiome's in order. So you re-inoculate. And finally, you make sure you repair. So you hit all those steps and you may actually be able to reintroduce those things. An allergy is simply a situation where your body is overreacting to something that shouldn't be in your blood in the first place. Don't let it get in and you shouldn't have a problem. Now, let's be very clear though. If you do decide to reintroduce, you don't have to, but if you do at some point, because you know, you really love avocados or bananas and you want to have them again at some point, start slow because you don't know what the reaction is going to be. How far along? And this is still further along down the road. I wouldn't recommend doing the reintroduction without working with a professional. Just saying. So either way, though, hope this helped you out. You know what to do. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Long Island and, of course, over at Mike That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care of your gut. And I'll see you tomorrow. Brando. It's got electrolytes. It's what the plants, right? I'm the king. No, not king.